Let's go to James 4, 7 through 10. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So, in order for the devil to be able to flee from you, is if, what? You start obeying the rules and regulations of the Bible. So one of the many reasons why you continue to be hindered, key word hindered by the devil, is because you are consistently, persistently, purposely sinning. Then you may say, well, if a person is obeying God, are they going to get attacked by demons? Yes, but it is not the same way. When you are obeying God, you have authority over demons. When you are not obeying God, you don't have authority over demons. So there is a difference. When I tell a demon to leave, it has to leave. Yes, more demons can come back, but it has to leave. Let's say that you are not obeying God. If you tell a demon to leave, it is not going to leave. Why? Because you are in sin. Because you are a sinner. So it is not the same thing. I can tell a demon to leave. It has to leave. But other demons can come back. But... I have the power to tell them to go. As a sinner, you have no authority at all. You are on the playground of the demons, which is unfortunate. Verse 7 or 8. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. What does that mean? The more that you obey God, the more that you read your Bible, pray, fast, so on and so on, the closer God is going to be to you or come to you. The closer you get to God by doing those things, the closer God is coming to you. There are some people who say that they want to get really close to God, but they are not doing what is necessary to get close to God. How can I tell you that I want to cut the grass when I am in the house all day long sitting down and watching TV? It would be different if I put my shoes on, go outside, and get ready to cut the grass. That is a difference. But my point is, how can you say that you want to do something when you are not taking the steps to make it possible? It is like just saying words, which is a waste of time. Okay. Verse 9. Actually, verse 8 still. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Some people believe that they can continue to sin and they believe just because they believe in Jesus Christ when they die they believe that they are going to heaven afterward. What is the difference between you and a sinner if you are living in the same way? Do you believe that your belief in Jesus Christ makes you different than a sinner when you are living like a sinner? There is a person who says that they are not serving God and they are cursing people out. You say that you believe in God, but you are cursing people out. How are you different from that sinner? There is no difference. You are doing the same thing as that sinner. So you are not different. You are the same. The only way that 
you can be different from that sinner is by not cursing. So this once saved, always saved doctrine is so demonic on so many levels. Okay. Verse, let me see, 9. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. So what is that saying? You are out there always sinning. What this is saying, humble yourselves. Get down on your knees and repent. Entertainment is not a bad thing, but if you continue to disobey God, you need to stop. Stop all of this sinful fun and come to God now. Repent to God. Heartfelt repentance. Weep if you have to. Show God how sorry you really are. Okay, verse 10. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Give me a second, please. So what does verse 10 mean? Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Repent. Show God that you are going to obey him. Show God that you don't consider yourself as a God of your own life. There are people who believe that they are a God over their own life. That they don't have to submit themselves to God. That is not being humble. That is being arrogant and foolish. I really hope this makes sense. So you may be getting attacked by demons and wondering why they won't leave. Well, you need to submit yourself to God. You need to obey. You need to pray. You need to fast. So on and so on. If you don't do that, you are going to continue to have these problems, which is not good. You may be asking God to help you, but at the same time, you are premeditating on sinning. Like I said in other videos, the only way to stop sinning is to stop sinning, is to not do it. <laughs> Myself, I thought that there is an easier way. There is not. There is not. You need to separate yourself from sinful things. You need to change your environment. Music, TV shows, friends, any type of media, anything bad that goes against the word of God, get rid of it. You need to clear out your atmosphere. Well, Kevin, you know I paid so much money on these things. So, your money is better than your eternal soul. So, for this amount of money is worth going to hell over. Are you serious? I don't think you are serious. I believe it is just ignorance which I was in the same category myself. So I have to point the finger at myself as well. Ignorance. So really take heed to this. God bless.